sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross your eyes. There's some things that take place in life. Okay. That um that alters the route that life would have taken otherwise. Mm. And in hip hop, that tends to come in the form of a DJ, of a rapper, of a beat boy. And in some cases, of a mogul. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, there was a group that came out um, from New York that for me, when I heard their music, uh, being in Cali at the time, I thought, wow, this is about to alter the path that rap takes. Right, right. Because you had a group of MCs that had three different styles, but they were all distinct. And at least two of the MCs out of the three were always in the conversation of who's the dopest out right now. Mm. Every single time. The music they made was, it was hard, but it was uplifting at the same time. Um, and to this day, people still talk about music they may have made 10, 15 years ago. Right. And they're here with us today, and they're here together. See, we have them as individuals, minus one, one, one or two members, but we have them as individuals, but we never have them together. Welcome to the show, Grand Poobah. Yep. And welcome to returning to the show, Sadat X. Yo, yo. Brand That's what it is. Brand new wow. Yeah. Man. Glad to be here. Right. Man, we, I mean, this is, this is, this is interesting because we all know each other. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but first, uh, you know, I want to apologize. They were already accused, you know, be, you know, accused of possibly, you know, uh, lifting somebody's <laughs> phone. Yeah. Because they're black. You know, yeah. Because they're black. <laughs> they've, been in, they've been in the waiting room and, and one of the guests lost their phone. Gina Gershon, matter of fact, yeah. lost her phone. I like her too. That's why I was like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> did, did, did she come over and accuse you? Did she point at you? It was them. Nah. nah. It, I think, I think. Uh, it wasn't that direct. Yeah, like, it, one, it was one like, the, the, hey, buddy. You, yeah. Did you see a phone? Like, did you, you know, see a phone right when here? you ask somebody four times, like, you know, it's just like, yo, come on now. All right. yeah. With all that stuff on the phones, GPS and all that now. Days. I don't pay to take nobody's <laughs> phone. Take nobody, right? Yeah. That ain't that ain't right. But tell you, man, but listen, man, if you listen, if you need a phone, man, you can steal mine. Right. <laughs> no, y'all good? <laughs> All right. Well, man, it's good to see y'all together. Yes. The, the, have y'all I know you guys are uh, performing uh for with talent. Talent has a show, the comedian, uh that's uh featuring comedians and but it also um it also features artists like um, Dress from Black Sheep, Sweet right. Tea, right. uh um, Busy B. The legendary oh, busy B. Busy, I need. Oh man! And, it's, okay. and, uh, it's a, and it says brand Nubians, Grand Poobah. Yeah. So, right. Dad, you gonna be there too? Yes, I will. Definitely come through. You know, talent. He's a good dude, and he always uh look out for the guys. So, we, I'm, I'm gonna come through definitely. And this is tomorrow. Um, tomorrow night. Yep. Um, at the uh, Symphony Space Theater, which is on twenty five thirty seven Broadway. If you know tri state area, if you want to mm-hmm. see this show, all you gotta do is go to symphonyspace.org. And uh, you'll be able to find this show. Um, it's called the show with Dougie Fresh and friends. Yeah. Brand Nubian is here. Yeah, um, it's a nice spot too. It's a nice spot, right? Yeah. You you guys, um, you guys made some very classical music. Uh, you made an album together, uh, and then y'all went your separate ways, right. and then you came back together. Uh, what's the status of Brand Nubian now? Right now, I mean, you know, we are we on the road work, you know. It ain't stopped since ninety one, man. We still doing what we've been doing. We're doing the shows. It's not more. You know a lot a lot a lot of people don't know, like because uh in the New York area, you know, it's it's kinda limited to the shows. But you know, we we been doing shows, like we never stop. Like sometimes I see dudes on the street and they be like, Yo, man, what what happened to you after the first album? I never heard you no more. I'm like, God damn, B. I'm like, yo, we we, we here, yo. <laughs> Right. Like, you ain't heard me since 90, son? I'm like, yo. <laughs> yeah. That is true. People tend to, for, um, if you're not in their face, yeah. it's like out of sight, out of mind. Exactly. But brand Nubian, if you go, you guys been overseas too as well. Many, right? many, all the time. Right. I just came back from Moscow last week. Uh-huh. It's like it's the same here too. Like like it, like this summer we did. How many we do in New York? We did about like fifteen shows. Yeah, in we New did York. a lot. This Easy. summer we did the most in New York. That we yeah. did in a while. Yeah. So what do people for you, Grand Poobah? What do people? What what are the songs do you find people request the most? Is it the songs you've done on your solo projects or the songs 
I mean, what what are the standout it's, it's, songs? It's a mixture. It's like, well, you know, it's everything. Features, you know, like the main ones, like you know, the hardcore head step to the rear. Mm-hmm. One for all. I like it. Um, Four one one. Three sixty. I mean, it's just, like those are the joints that I do. Like, like the the ones that are, were most like popular. Like, not just radio, but underground as well. Like, I do. You know, the joints that I think I got an idea with. You know, everybody want to hear, like, you know. Uh-huh. But uh, it's, it's most of them joints. And so it's, you know, a little bit from every album. Like, you know? I, I've always been curious. Grand Pooba style um, of rap, yo, I don't even know how to explain it because I, I used to call it slippery. Clever mm. and slippery because you used to get in and out of the pocket with syllables so uh, effortlessly that um, it was it just felt like in some cases that you were just talking. How do you write? Like, do you, what's your writing process? It's, well, it's always words first in the mind, and then, you know, you put it to paper. And um, as far as, like, delivery, it, it depends on the track. Like, you know, mm-hmm. I always try to, you know, stay on top of the track. I don't like loud tracks where, you, you know, you got to struggle with, you know, just something real smooth and easy. It could be hard, but it got to be, you know, how those right elements where you can basically hear the voice, like, because mm-hmm. I think the voice is like an instrument, so... You know, I, I, I like, I, w- I want to say, like, harmon- harmon- harmonically, mm-hmm. I, I do my lyrics, like, to, like, bass lines or whatever like that, you know. So it's just like a, you know, get faded, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, can't Feel it, that. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and yeah. then just go with it, like, you know, it's like, it's like a rhythm. It's like, I try to use it like an instrument. Like. Now, have y'all, Sadat, have you guys recorded any new music lately? Not yet, but we're in the process right now getting the beats together, you know what I'm saying, getting the grooves together. Mm-hmm. And uh, as soon as we uh, get a little more, we start uh, actually laying them down because it's, it's nothing to lay them down. We just got to get all together and uh, combine right. and just do it. Right. Where are the other members? Uh, you got Lord Jamal. He's in Staten Island right, right now Island. doing this actor thing and recording some music. He got uh, his known associates that's getting ready to drop. Uh, got, got Alamo. Sunday Club. Yeah, yeah, a little, <laughs> little Sunday strip spot in Queens <laughs> Curves. Come on out on a Sunday, Staten <laughs> Island. Come on out there. Doing this thing. Yeah, yeah. You got Alamo. He's a corner social DJ and Saturday he's uptown night. Saturday nights. And you got yeah. Stud that's still running with us. It's still the same team. Like, it's, it's not too many outsiders in the box. Still the same team. Okay, no. No more friends, no more no friends. No more friends, friends. Nah. Okay, okay. Brand Nubian is here. That's yeah. right. Yeah. This is a true, real, authentic, innovative group right here, Brand Nubian. Right. You could go and listen to their music that they made from when they first started back in the 90s to now. Hmm. And the messaging is still impactful. It still is relevant. It still applies to today. Right. The content, the messaging and rap today has changed, you know, dramatically, but so has the times. Right. Um. So, you you know, it, you know, it, it was a change when you guys came up. Definitely. Exactly. You know what I mean? Um. How do you feel about um when you listen? Is, are there newer artists? I'll start with you, Grand Poobo, that, that you think. Or, you know, that stand out in their talent. All right, to me, like, there's one thing that don't change, and that's the condition of our people. That stays yeah. the same. That's why our music always remains relevant, because the same, you, you take the Trayvon situation, you can relate that to Sean Bell. You can go back before Sean Bell. It's, it's like it don't stop. Like, until we, I mean, I don't think it's ever going to stop until we realize, like, like we unify and understand what the real problem is. Mm-hmm then that's the only way we're going to, you know, that's the only way it's going to really be changed. Like, as far as, like, the music, I, um, I like all kind of music. Like, I like, see, I like my music balanced, though. Like, I like my music in moods. Like, if mm-hmm. I'm in a hard mood, I'm, I want to hear some hard stuff. If I'm in a silly mood, I want to hear somebody with some silly, you know, silliness. If, you know, conscious state, I want to hear conscious. So it's, I think it's just, the scale is just, Unbalanced. That's yeah. what it really is. Like, uh, but it's it's still the same to me. Like, you know, it's a lot of creative cats. Like, I don't, you know, I take them my songs. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because it's been a while since I really brought an album. <laughs> like, so I, <laughs> I'm a song by song, dude. Yo, like, yo, by. that's hot. I like that joint. But, 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 what's next? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's that's basically it. You know? What about you, Sadat? Is there any artists that that are um out that came out recently in the recent years that 
yeah, you would like to collaborate with? Him? Definitely. Well, first off, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, as far as this hip hop thing, man, it's, it's still like, I think we still find in chambers in hip hop where you have like compositions by people such as Mozart and these people that are 250 years old, 300 years. So I still think we find in different chambers in this. It's still musical wise. We like a toddler right now. You know, mm -hmm. we still growing up. Um, some of the, the artists that I do like, well, one, another before I get into that. See, I like music, like a, a lot of, it's a lot of music out there now, but, you know, as opposed to when we came out, other groups came out, they don't teach you how to do anything, th th this music right now. It's, mm -hmm. it's not, it's not teaching you anything. It's it's just, it's staying in that, sta that same stagnant party mode. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with a party mode and this and that, but then it's nothing wrong with somebody having an honest job and paying a bill either. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I feel also like that some of the artists that I am listening to that's coming out, it's like, I, you know, my home team, uh, he's from right there in, in the Bronx Park Ave, Oom P. I, m I mess with Oom a lot. That's, that, that, that's my dude right there. Yeah. I, I, done, I done seen, I seen yeah. him come. I remember he was a little dude, like, yeah. a, like a little guy. Uh -huh. And now he's grown in to see what he's done from over there on that Park Ave side. It's real wild over there in Vietnam to see what he's done. It's great. <laughs> uh, Joey Badass. I'm Joey liking Badass. Joey Badass yeah. because I just like with him. I like his respect factor. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Because I've, I've listened to him. And, you know, regardless, a young, when you're a young dude, you're going to do what a young dude do. When I was young, I listened to the old Jacks. But 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 I, I had to do what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I respectfully listened to them. And I think that's what he did. He, he hooked up with Premier. You understand? And he's doing the album. And I, and I see that when, you know, it looked like he's taking some advice. And, and, and granted, he's going to do what he's going to do, but he has listened and taken some advice. So those are two that stick out to me the most I, right I, now. I like, I like um, Joey Badass for that reason, too. Yeah. Because, yeah. It, you know, it's a respect thing of the culture. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, because, uh, you know, we came up, you, if you didn't know your facts, if you mm. didn't know your history, you didn't get a pass. Exactly. Right. Now no. you ain't got to know shit mm. and claim it. And still get a pass. When I hear artists like uh, Drake make a song called um, uh, Wu-Tang Forever, you know, I can appreciate that because as big as he is, it's shedding light on, um, you know, uh, on a, a, a iconic hip hop group wow. that obviously has some influence on him. Exactly. Right. You know, when it didn't, he, when he doesn't have to do that, he could have called that that's song. Right. To, and it, it forces people who are his fans to dig up, but who are the women? Right. Exactly, right. that's you know, that's a good yeah. thing too. Yeah, so uh, that's great, man. I'm gonna take some phone calls. 888-742-3345. Brand new being are here. We got Damon on the line. D, what up, man? Yo, what's going on, Sway? How's it be? Good Tracy morning. G. It is my honor to be here with Brand Nubian because these brothers were literally the soundtrack of my college career at Howard University. Mm, that's what's up. That's peace. That's, Cook Hall I right there. Yeah. I kicked it on many occasions. Shout out to my man, DJ Alamo. Uh -huh. I kicked <laughs> it on many occasions with my man, Alamo. And, uh, you know, what I, I want to touch on is with something that Puba just said. You know, hip-hop is going to be here as long as we want it to be because of the people like these groups that have just laid so much down and have taught us about our culture. And I'm sitting here today as a 43-year-old man. I'm a judge. So we got judges. We got mm. lawyers. We got doctors. We got titans of industry that are from the hip-hop culture that are keeping it, on, keeping it going on. And what I like to say is that, you know, I want to give proof of that hope that the conditions of our people will change as long as we have people such as myself and many others that I know that are out there trying to make it happen for that's our right. people. Mm, that's, that's, peace. Peace. that's right. That's peace. Hey, man, you a citizen. A sway in the morning. Yes. <laughs> we got judges on our... That's peace. You know what? That's right, because I always hear y'all. Y'all got truckers. Y'all got everybody else. Y'all got a judge. That is that's right. Hey, 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 look, I got a couple of speeding tickets, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can you help you, a brother out? <laughs> you, you, you are a citizen. Got to look out for the citizens, Judge. <laughs> All right, hey. Take care. All right. And, uh, Thank really, you, brother. That's Brand new being, appreciate you, brothers, because I also knew a girl named Propaganda. She's always juicing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. hey, that's from a judge. We got Hill on the line. Good morning. How you doing, Hill? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Um, I just like to say um, I love Brand New Beans. I met y'all back in the days, back in Miami, when um, Naughty by Nature was doing a video. Outside on the beach. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You smoked a couple blunts. Okay. Um, <laughs> you guys made my day. You know, from then on, I always try to follow y'all. 
Um, well, let me ask you a question, not- Hill. What, what, like, to to for those who smoke, to smoke a blunt or to smoke with people that you look up to or idolize or even that you supported their music. What was the conversation like after the first few hits? What did they talk about? <laughs> oh, it was all some conscious stuff, man, straight up. Because back then, that's when I just started growing my dreads, you know. Mm. You know, I'm a Rasta man. All right. You know, so, so, you know, we, we was on some conscious stuff, basically talking about what was happening back then, back then. Which is you still know, happening with, now. With, with, with us black folks here mm-hmm. in Miami and in New York and... Mm. You know, I just like to say, man, um, I can't wait till y'all come out with something new to show these young cats that, you know, it ain't all about fucking pussy, popping mollies, and, you know, getting drunk all day in the club. It That's ain't? right. Wait, wait a minute. What is it about? Then? No, I'm joking. Right, <laughs> yeah. right, we got Chris. But, but, but some of those things we still like, though, you know, some parts. So, Dot X, you popping mollies? Nah, nah, no, not no, the no, molly no, pot. No, no, not, not the molly pot. pot. You're a drinker, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm drinking the brown water. I drink the brown water. Say, pop in some Bob Molly. Or something. <laughs> you know, yes, Bob Molly, not that Molly. Yeah. That's that's like the new crack right there. I, I think. Alamo, is you with me? Yeah, Brand Nubian is here, man. That's right. Okay. Do you, you remember where you were when you wrote this? Yeah, uh, Power Play Studio. Oh, Queens. Queen. Queens. Yeah, Rob right. Sutton in them. Yeah. Push yeah, the button. Yeah. Rob Sutton, right. Damn, yes. you power yes. play. That's why I did that. Yeah. Well, you know what I was going to say too, Sway? I don't feel like Pooba. I don't know how he feels about this, though. I don't feel like you get enough credit for Mary J. Blige. Like, I think when you did that whole, you mentioned 411 earlier to Sway, but I think when right. you came on there rhyming and then she started flowing, I think that sort of created this hip hop queen of soul. I, I, mm. Not necessarily. Yeah. Well, she ain't know the form of one time I told her, but um, it was like, yeah, it was, you know, but give her credit because she, she pulled it off. She, yeah, right. I was impressed. Like I, I wrote, you know, when I wrote that rhyme, like we did that like one day, like in about an hour. Really? Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking I mean, she to... came back and did her, you know, vocals, but right. like I put it down, boom, this is what it is, you know. Puff like yeah, it's good, you know, because I'm, you know, in and out. But yeah, she knocked that down. Yeah, like, not, I'm not taking nothing away from her, but I feel like when they talk about her career and and and, and the people, I don't feel like you're mentioned enough because that to me helped mold her sound. When when she started rhyming and you was on it, right. that gave it a hip hop soul. Made it official. Like, yes. Like, I mean, yeah, it's just all good though. I mean, did did you rap her verse and then she rapped over it, or how did that work? Um. Yeah, I wrote it and put it down, and then she just took it and you know and wrapped over. Yeah. Well, she ain't like you know. I guess she just learned it and then, and then yeah, it. spit it out. But she's crazy, and that's one person like I was really impressed with because like you know I, I got one joint that never really came out. I don't even know where this song is at, but I had a beat going when we was doing check it out for my album, and mm. um, I was like it was just a beat playing. I was like yo. Sing something on this joint. And she sung Donnie Hathaway, um, Someday We'll All Be Free. Mm. Oh, my gosh. She murdered. And I can't find. I don't mm. know. It's in the vault. I think it's in the electric vault somewhere, but it's crazy. Wow. You got to get that. Yeah. What are they going to do with it? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I need to talk. To that's Well, I spoke to Dante because there's a lot of stuff in there that need to come out. Like, And he's like, yo, well, I'm going to try. You know, Dante Ross. Ross Dante Ross, yeah. You know, so. We gonna see, man. But it was that song right there. She uh, when she did that, I was like, yeah, she official tissue. Like, yeah, yeah. dope. I think I'm gonna take it even farther because we we always have these conversations about um, MCs. Yeah, like, where people put their list of MCs together, and you know it's ironic, but um, the, the uh, some of us um, historians know, and enthusiasts know. But uh, not enough people throw your name in that, and that, either one of you guys. Not enough people throw y'all name in that. I know it doesn't matter yeah. probably to, in that conversation, but let me tell you why I think it does matter. Because, see, my mentality is similar to yours. Um, well, eh, whatever. You know you know. Right. It's a lot of stuff you've done that people don't know. Mm-hmm. But then uh-huh. they write these books. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, and these books are the official book of whatever. That's some so sad. called, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's telling the story, and then people go off and read it, and they start reciting this stuff and feel like they know the real story, right. and the story is false. Right. So right. the history is farce. 
Yeah. You know, and yeah. and then they leave out folks. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? And if they don't mention folks down the line when people are, you know, they open these time capsules or whatever, mm-hmm. certain names aren't mentioned, certain, you know, key I, I only got mad once. One time they had a list of 150 MCs. <laughs> that mean it was 150 <laughs> MCs that was better than me. You understand yeah, 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 that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 150 MCs where maybe about 60 or 70 of them don't even rhyme no more. Yeah. But they was better than me. 150. I was like, wow. Then I said, you know, it, it, it ain't nothing because I didn't I didn't get into it for that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So when I look at it like that, but I was like, damn, still 150. Like, wow. <laughs> but, but see, that's the, the problem is you got people in high places yeah. that don't have the proper information it's true. and they make bad choices yeah. you know but it becomes the truth for others right. even though it's a lie right. Word. they have vanilla ice better than me <laughs> vanilla ice was better than me i was like what? oh my gosh but see the, the thing like <laughs> i i, I kind of knew this from the beginning once we like we we formed a group there's going to be issues with a lot of things and then mainly because of the content of yeah. our lyrics, like mm-hmm. like we make the party joints you know, and everything. But when it comes to that, you know, speaking on that consciousness, like our first video was like "Wake Up." Yeah, mm-hmm. 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 yeah, yeah. Five Five Freddy shot that video right, and he was working for MTV at the time. Yeah. So you know, we shoot the video. It was crazy. Came out right. A couple of weeks went by. We're like, yeah, Fred, yo, what's up? We you know we should be good, right? It's like, yo, man, <laughs> MTV said they're not going to play it. So we're like, you're not going to play it? You work there. Nigga. You, 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 you did it, man. You're supposed to be good. That's one of the main reasons, you know what I'm saying? You got to check. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he's like, yo, nah, listen. And this is when I really realized, like they said, you got a black man in there with a white face, with a blonde wig and blue eyes and horns representing the devil. They not gonna play it. They yep. <laughs> Take that out and then play your video. And we was like, yo, hell. Then, then you know, we stick with Ralph McDaniels. And then, <laughs> yeah, that's that's all. The whole thing, of, you know what I'm saying? It's like it was just so crazy because it's like, all right, there's a black man got a white face on. You know, he symbolizes the devil, but it just offended them to the point where it's like, yo. And that's when I knew, like, yeah, you can say anything else on on, on records, on videos, whatever. But you even slightly mm-hmm. offend the white man. It's a problem. Man. Oh, man. So we knew from the gate, like, it's going to be problems. Like, the, what is them hip-hop? What's the honest that you're having? Hip-hop honest? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we ain't going to be on that. Not the VH1 oh. hip-hop honest? We're not going to be on that. I, I, I'm never going We're not going to be on Rock the Bells. We're not going to be on those things. I mean, I mean, it's deserving. Yeah. But they're not going to have us just because of... You know, that wake up song. That's the last song we do at all our shows. And then, you know what I mean? It's an uplifting song for our people. It's not denigrating or disrespecting no other race. We just trying to lift our people up. So when we like move on, black man, move on. We got the whole crowd saying it. Yeah, that bothers some people. Like, yeah, like who? Who? Wh- wh- what was the joint that they had in Brooklyn? That band, the VH1 or the Hip Hop Honors? Yeah, that the Hip Hop Honors. When we went to the Hip Hop Honors. <laughs> I'm outside trying to get into the hip hop honors. Paris Hilton comes. Hip hop dudes flung the doors open. Oh, yo, <laughs> come on, Paris, come on and bring whoever you got with you. I'm outside. It's me. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool G rap. Oh, and somebody else. Wow. But they broke their ass to get Paris Hilton in the door. These is hip hop people, and uh, uh, somebody else that came in the door with like seven other people, and they telling me I had to wait. So all that, like, I I, I would never ever mess with them again on that. Wow. Word up. They killed me with that. Right. See, that's the reality. The, the more, you know, the, the, the most important thing is that the message get. That's heard, all. Like, you know, mm-hmm. and and when we did joints like, like like three sixty one for all, mm-hmm. like not conscious joint, but joint that that was the magnetic to attract. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. so you can get to hear the rest of the album, what's really on, and what we really about. Like the same thing with the Tommy Hilfiger situation. He was giving me clothes, money, everything out there, but that's before it. Somebody must have said, "Yeah, you better listen to what he really." <laughs> what happened? How, how did that play out? What was it? I, well, I was supposed to, I was supposed to get a label deal and a clothing line, mm-hmm. you know. And then I guess somebody's like, "Yo, you, I think you better listen to his whole album and <laughs> listen to what he's really <laughs> talking about." And then, uh, you know, and Leo Cohen's that was my manager at the time. Leo, you know, he, he gets you paper. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's like. 
Pooba. <laughs> <laughs> just stop fucking calling white people devils and just just make music, man. I'm telling you, we're gonna be paid. Like we gonna, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, yo, man, I got it. That's my duty. Like I can't. I'll be selling my soul if I had the opportunity yo. to bless my people. Yeah. And just say, you know what? I'm gonna just get this bread. You know what I'm saying? Some say like, yo, that's a foolish mistake. You could have toned it down, but. It is what it is. Like, I can't, so, you know, at the end of the day, so, I'm happy. Like, And so you lost that opportunity with Tommy Hilfiger. Oh, yeah. They strung me along to it was no more string, Did man. you talk to him? <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> what did Tommy say? I was meeting with business affairs, like, mm -hmm. you know. But, and, and, but he was cool. And, and, but in the end, what did Tommy say to you? Well, at the end, Tommy ran. Like, at the end, Tommy said I wasn't the one that really made his clothes what they was. Wow. Uh, he said like, Snoop Dogg made his clothes when he wore them on one of those late night shows. Uh -huh. And that was the last Saturday time night I put live, I think. Uh -huh. And he was like, yeah, nah, Pooba, you know, because I heard him on um, another radio station trying to say that, but the DJs was blasting him like, yeah, you bugging out. Yeah. yeah. Grand Pooba is the one that put you, you know, and he, you know, he didn't, you know. I ain't wore hell figures since then. Figure Nobody. At the top. Nah, I ain't wore the first one. You didn't want to put him on the map. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Man, but, you know, it is what it is, though. But see, that, and like I said, you know, I don't expect nothing less from the devil, like, so I ain't, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shade 45.